Hello everyone, here is the Pilotas and welcome to a new tutorial. In this tutorial I show you my golem rig and how this rig works because some people wanted to know how I made this rig and yeah, let's get started. Here is the rig, the golem and I think most of them are interested how it works with this sampling animation and how the rig works. The rig is yeah quite easy. So the main thing it has just three layers. Basically two layers because I just moved the IK constraint bone on an extra layer. He have IK legs and FK arms. And here you already see it, it's just apparent to the yeah, bone before. So that I can here move in, I like. I have just these four bones here. Um, as you can see, a copy location damped track. So that it floats if I lift the upper uh, yeah, the chest stone. So it makes it of uh, it also makes a little bit um, yeah easier to animate it floats it's a flow floating um, stone and yeah the second layer or third layer that are the deformation bones for the stones itself that are have every a child of to the yeah. To the bone, yeah, to the right bone of the main rig. And that's how uh, it's basically work. It's really simple. That um, needs, of course, a, a little bit of effort to animate it. But I say I, I have not polished this pose so far. Um, yeah, I, I think I didn't polish it so far. Um, you can lie, uh, so you can, um, yeah, make the influence to zero for each uh, stone. You can lie with them around the golem. And if I take here the upper leg, so he flies. On the leg and it snaps from zero to one and then it is assembled and of course it's um, the main rig slightly also positioned that he lies around well, of course I can hear stretch them but basically it's look like he he would lie on the ground and he would try to stand up so it's a bit a little bit tricky but if you have the experience it's it's easy to animate I would say I had a lot of fun to animate this by the way so and yeah I um, also um, recommend an add-on it's called global transform Copy global transform add-on. It's already in blend, Blender inside. You just need to activate it. You have it here in the end sidebar under animation. And for example, if I would here delete the child off switch, for example, they are all bounce. So we, yeah, of course, we have no the uh, um, influence to one. Let's be used bone floats here in the air so and I make it hit one and here to zero and here at one I reset alt G the um, the uh, uh, location right the location and I can already make a keyframe location rotation yeah, it works. I alternatively can also Alt R to 
reset rotation, but it's not really needed here. And if I go now back, we see it's on a completely different um, position. And also the rotation orientation is also wrong to the next frame. And that's why the pose, uh, the global transform, I don't exist. So I give, go to this frame and copy the global transforms, go one frame back and paste them. And now we have in the bone on the same position, my keyframe. And now it has a seamless animation from these two uh, frames. But we have also a double pose. That's why I would, this, I would slightly move. And then it works. And that's how you animate every single bone. Even it's a little bit much of a fort as long as you have fun with this kind of animations. Uh, yeah, it's not a problem for, for dudes who have fun with this. Um, yeah, so that's basically how the golem um, rig works. It's really not a big deal, I would say. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope, yeah, you have also now the desire to make some cool stone golems or other kind of golems. And yeah, see ya in another video. Cheerio!